I told you! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I told you! Forget it! Forget it! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is David Siracha. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, right next to the subscribe button, it's also this little bell icon. If you don't mind, can you just tap it for a little bit? That way, every time when I post a new video, you guys will get notified. Hold on, let me show you guys something real quick, okay? You see this right here? This is a picture of me and my cousin Vinny. This picture was taken many, many, many years ago, right after we went to the Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch in San Antonio, Texas. And yes, I do have a cousin named Vinny. So Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch is a uh, African safari, Texas style, also known as a drive through zoo. You know, when you drive in and you roll down your window and then animal will come up to you and then you feed them. I had a really good time when I was little, so today I'm gonna take my wife, I'm gonna take my daughter, and I'm gonna take you guys along for this adventure. So, you ready? Let's go. Hold on, Mr. Vickley, you ready? AKA Vamanos. In order to get to Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch, we have to drive from Houston to San Antonio. It's a three hour drive, and man, I always pick the right day to go. Look at the sky. It's already late, so we're gonna check into our hotel at the Spring Hill Suite. I really like this hotel so I'm gonna make a review about it so you guys can check it out for yourself. Just look at the view from the hotel. Isn't it beautiful? Let's go find something to eat. San Antonio is known for delicious Mexican food so we found this taqueria nearby with some good Yelp reviews. The food was delicious from fried fish to menudos to tacos. Everything was good. Before we head back to the hotel, let's go check out the Alamo really quick. It is so beautiful at night. And of course, they had to put a hog and dog ice cream shop next to the Alamo. How can we resist that? Let's go back to the hotel, get some sleep, and then we head out to the ranch first thing in the morning. We got a good night of sleep. Before we head out, let's go downstairs so we can grab some free breakfast. Have you guys had the Texas waffle before? It is very good. All right, let's go to the Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch so we can see some animal. The drive from the hotel to the wildlife ranch take about 35 minutes. And it's pretty much just row, trees, and hills. Here's a shot from above so you guys can see. You can't miss this place, especially when they have a Texas side sign like this. The ranch open every day from 9 to 5 p.m. Adult admission is $22 on the weekdays and $24.50 on the weekends. If your child is 3 to 11 years old, it's $13.50 on the weekdays and $15.50 on the weekends. You do get a free bag of animal food per vehicle. Additional bags are available for $2.50 each. It's no turning back now. Let the adventure begin. Go, my little boy. That was scary. <laughs> the first animal that we encountered was a gambok. He didn't want to eat though. Okay, Let's go to the next one. Okay. You guys want some food? No? I guess they don't want any food. Ooh, we got some barbarian sheep. They just be chilling in the shade and thinking, I don't know why these people are trying to feed us when we have food right in front of us. No, I was trying to see if they'll eat it. No? No? Well, no? They're coming. You scared? Texas longhorn? And I'm sure somebody will correct me. That's not a longhorn. That it's a Ankuli Watasi. So far, none of the animals that we encounter seem to be hungry. You having fun, Bumbo? Bon bon? No? And by the way, the speed limit is 5 miles per hour. So it seemed like we came here at the wrong time. All the animals are well fed so far, so they don't want any food. I try everything, and I mean everything. <laughs> Moo! Oink, oink, oink! Nah, I guess they're not coming. We were losing hope, but then this ostrich came along and changed everything. Oh wow! Hello! Ah! 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 Oh, 
so it's true what they say. Be careful what you ask for. <laughs> She's scared. See how fast it, it, it picks? Yeah. One more look. Giraffe, one more look. There's also a mini rest area where you can stop, get out of your car, and take some pictures. I asked my wife and kids to come out, but they don't want to because it was too hot. We have to climb up the slope to continue our adventure, and the slope was pretty steep. If you let go of the gas, you would definitely roll back. And check this out, these scimitar Auric got it made. They got their own cabana, so they don't even have to find shade. And here come the white rhinos. And did you know that rhinos are the second largest land mammal in the world? Elephant is number one. They also have some Bactrian camel here. These camel have two humps instead of one. Let's see what else we can find next. Ah, oh, look, a hungry addict. It sounded like I'm saying addicts, right? It's A-D-D-A-X. Oh man, I feel bad for this one. I guess he went to war and lost a horn. Donkey in a car. Oh no. Look at those ostrich. They're up to no good. Oh my god. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Forget it. Oh, you gentle. I like you. The other one was rough. Huh? What? Yeah, that's gentle. The other one was like. Oh my god, I don't know that. What? No more thing? That's it. That's it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye bye. And that concludes the safari. We didn't see any zebra though. Well, it's a good thing. I don't think I would want to feed a zebra after this sign. They also have a petting zoo, so we're gonna check it out real quick. I don't know why, but I want to get this windmill for my house. Before you head into the petting barnyard, make sure you read the rule first. Right after we got into the petting barnyard, this happened. Are you afraid? After a few minutes, she warm up to them. <laughs> Never mind, I guess not. And I bet you, a few years from now, when she watch this video, she gonna be like, why was I afraid of these cuties? Right outside of the petting barnyard, they have a huge fish pond with some big old koi fish in there. And if you have some quarter, you can buy some fish food so you can feed them. You can also see some gibbon. A gibbon is a small sided ape. It doesn't have a tail, which is a characteristic of all apes. Out of nowhere, I saw this peacock just chilling in the bush like ain't nothing. If you want to buy some souvenir, they have a gift shop available. And if you're hungry, you can get yourself some burger at the Safari Cat Grill. As I was editing this video, you know what I thought about? Back in the day, we didn't have Yelp. We didn't have Google Map. So every time when you go on vacation to a new city that you don't know anything about, you would have to go to the front desk of your hotel. And then you have to look for that box that has all the attraction flyers. And in order to get to those attraction place, you have to ask the fun desk for directions or you have to go to the gas station and buy yourself an actual map of that city. And after that, you still have to map out your route to the attraction by yourself. And nowadays, all you have to do is just tap it in your phone and boom, you're done. And that's just crazy. So my kid would never know how it's like to live in a world without Yelp and without Google Map. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much if you stayed to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you soon.